Hello, welcome to another video. For Pride, I thought it'd be fun to draw some characters based on the flags, which seems like a common thing for artists to do. I tried doing this before, but I never actually finished any of the designs before besides the asexual flag. So this year, I want to do some of the flags. And for this video, I made a character based on the non-binary flag. Their name's Rowan and they like space. I wasn't sure whether to make their face visible or not, but in the end, I decided to go with like a screen through the helmet as their face instead. So I have no idea what their actual face looks like. Maybe one day I'll design it, but I give it a quick shot and just decided I preferred the helmet. For their jacket, I knew I wanted it to be puffy and originally I wanted to also give them chonky gloves, but since they already have a puffy jacket and chonky shoes, I thought that the gloves would have been too much. The jacket was part of the original doodle for the character, so I knew I wanted to make some patches on the front as well as some sort of device attached to it. I don't know if it actually does anything or not, but I just wanted to mix stuff from actual astronaut suits into it as well. I also added the flag to their sleeve. I think if I can, I want to make a flag a part of all the characters' designs, possibly, um, if it feels like it could fit well. Sometimes I draw the zippers in and sometimes I don't, and in this case, I totally forgot to do it, so I didn't add it, but I imagine the jacket is a zipped up bomber style jacket in real life. Since their jacket, helmet, and shoes are already major parts of the design, I decided to just keep the basic t-shirt and shorts pretty simple and not add much to their design. For the shoes, I knew I wanted some sort of chonky space shoe, but I just wasn't quite sure how I wanted to do it at first. It took me a few tries to kind of figure it out, not only the shape, but also the design. At first, I was following the more traditional astronaut shoe design, but I don't know why I just couldn't get it to look right. So instead, I kept it more simple and added these like shin protector looking things to the shoe instead, and I thought it worked well. At the very end, I decided to add a band-aid to their leg and would have added it to their hands as well, but I forgot. But I also didn't want to overdo the band-aid, so maybe I'll just keep it the way it is. One of my biggest struggles with drawing is coloring, especially deciding on a color scheme for characters. I already knew I wanted to just use the non-binary flag colors as well as the skin tone, so that really helped. And the first color idea that came up was actually very similar to the final color scheme, but the pads of their jacket were yellow instead of white. But the yellow was too much, so a friend recommended I swap it out for white, and I think it looks much better. I was worried I'd have a harder time combining the colors, but since the flag only has four colors and two of them are just white and black, it wasn't as hard as I was expecting. I did change the black to more of a really dark purple, just so it wasn't pure black, and I think it would have been nice to do the same for the white, but I didn't in the end. The patches actually gave me the biggest struggle since I had no idea what I wanted for designs. It took a lot of messing with colors to get it right and still readable, but in the end, I'm pretty happy with the way the fake NASA logo came out as well as a little spaceship. When I was first drawing them, I didn't have the flag up so I couldn't remember how many lines I had, but I knew I drew too many lines the first time, it just looked wrong. But I left it that way until I got around to coloring it when I fixed it, but then I placed the colors in the wrong order. So even though I had them in the right order in the color palette, I didn't even notice until close to the end when I double checked the flag. The entire time I knew the order of the color seemed off, but I just didn't bother to check until the very end for some reason. I wasn't sure what to do for the backgrounds, but I knew I wanted something simple that I can bring to all the other character designs, so they all have a cohesive background. In the end, I just went with some basic text as well as some stars for a brush I found on Clip Studio. I wasn't sure whether to make the stars purple and yellow or just some shade of gray, but I went gray in the end since I thought the colored stars took away too much from the attention of the character. I didn't include that part in the process though. I usually turn off the recording while I figure out graphic design background since it can take me a while of just kind of putting random stuff down until I get somewhere. I wasn't sure whether to shade the character or not, but I thought they looked fine without shade and it saves me time. So for these designs, I think I'll stick with no shading. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of the design in the comments and make sure I like the video if you enjoyed it. I'm not sure if I'll publish all our designs back to back or intermix my Spirezona and Zelda video between them, but we'll see. I'll definitely post them all during Pride Month, but I may just spread them out a bit since I've already gotten the new Tears of Kingdom game and I want to make some fan art for it, not to mention designing a Spirezona for a new Spider-Man movie. I plan on designing characters for the Ace Flag, Trans Flag, and the Game Lesbian Flag, so if there's any other flag you want to see, let me know and I'll see if I can get them in time for this Pride or I may hold on to them for next year. Also, I'll upload all these designs onto my Redbubble, which is linked in the description in case you want any stickers or hats or something of the designs. I'll see you guys again in a few days for our next video.